Hello everyone, welcome back once again. In this video, we look at getting started with C++ Windows application using the Visual Studio 2019. But before we get started, please make sure you subscribe to the channel if you haven't. So let's get to it then. So C++ is a cross-platform programming language that can be used to create high performance applications. It provides high level of control over system resources and memory. C++ is one of the world's most popular programming languages and can be found in most operating systems. It is an object-oriented language which gives a clear structure to programs and allow code to be reused. So what is really a Windows? So Windows are simply objects that have both code and data. So you can think of Windows as programming construct that occupies a certain portion of the screen. It may or may not be visible and can respond to events from a user or the operating system. So to get started, first of all, you need to open the Visual Studio installer. As you can see here, I've op opened the Visual Studio studio installer and it's obviously a window so as you can see here that's a window so what we do is um i'm actually using the visual studio community so uh, if you can see i've actually got three types installed so don't don't watch that so i'm just going to click on the modify so now once we've got this page or this dialog open with loads what you gotta do is just scroll down and then make sure you've got this bit checked download and installed yeah so desktop development with C++ so this actually builds more than C++ applications for Windows using tools of your choice including MSVC C Lang, C Make, MS Build, and whatnot. So I'm just gonna close this bit. So make sure you actually check this box, download and install it here. So we're just gonna go. So once you that bit is sorted out, we come inside the file, start window, create a new project. So on the language side, obviously we can select um, the C++ and then we, we actually look for the Windows Desktop Wizard, right? So this is what we're actually looking for, Windows Desktop Wizard, yeah? So we click on the next. So here we can actually configure the project details. We're not going to look too much into that. So we click on the create. So here we, we get the C++ Windows app dialog here. So here we can actually configure what type of application we want to use. So in this case, yeah, we're going to select a um, desktop application. So this will actually include all the necessary headers that is needed. So we will actually select an empty project. So we're actually gonna start this from scratch, right? So we're just gonna click okay. So as you can see here now, we've actually got a project created and we've got nothing actually inside. So we actually right click on the source file and add. So click on the new item. So here we're going to add the C++ file. So we, it's, you can leave it as source.cpp or we're just gonna make it app.cpp. So now that we've got this file created, we're not, we're just going to jump on straight. So we're just going to include a couple of headers. So the first one, is, um, windows H. So we're just going to include a windows header. So the next bit is we're going to also include um, the standard library dot h. 
So the next one is, of course, we're going to include string. dot h. So next is we're going to include. teacher dot h so this all the headers that we're going to include so what we do is we're just gonna uh, declare some variables as well so we're going to declare static teacher so this is this excess window size window class we're just gonna make a window class So we will actually set it to underscore t So we're going to put project 2 So we've got another static teacher and this will be for the title title of the window So we could just say first C++ Windows app. So the next bit is the H instance. So this just gonna put instance yeah so next bit is L results so this would be callback so this will be the win procedure so Windows procedure and this will take HW and the U int W param and L param. So you can look at the Windows documentation further for what this actually does. So we're just gonna start this win uh, win main method. This will be the entry point for the application. So it's a win main. So this will actually take underscore in underscore in underscore. So this will be the H instance. And that will be H instance. So underscore in underscore opt for opt underscore. So this will be also H instance. And this will be H previous instance. And <coughs> we've got the in uh, underscore in underscore LP STR. So this will be LP CMD line for the command line instances. So the next is underscore in underscore in underscore this will be int 
this is always zero anyway and cmd show so that's all we're going to do here for now so that will be end so we open the method body yeah so that's what we're gonna do here for now so i'm just gonna pause the video okay so now what we do is we're going to create another method here so this will be l result callback this will be wnd proc for windows procedure so in here we put W H W N D this will be H W N D so the next is U int this will be message the next will be the real param and this will be w param so the next bit is l param so that will be l param so we go back inside the, the win main so here well i'm not going to write all of them so i'm just going to copy and paste some of them i'll just briefly explain it quickly so the first bit is we declare this so we're just going to put this so the next bit is we're just going to put all the, the windows attribute here so in the sense that we're just going to set the window size the h instance h instance okay and then the background as well so that's all we need for that bit here so the next bit is <coughs> we're just going to put we're just going to check if the windows class is registered so wc is just a windows class extension right so this is what we're going to put here so <clears throat> we're just going to check if the windows class is registered so if not then we, we write the call to the register the register class extension failed so with other, otherwise we're just going to write this the windows desktop yeah so that's all we're gonna need for this bit here. So the next bit is, of course, after after the, the if statement, we're going to put this as well. We're going to initialize the the H instance. Yeah. So the next bit is, of course, we create the window that we're going to display so this is how we create a window so h window hwnd is equal to create window method so we put the the windows namespace then the, the title and the rest of it here so this is actually the window size as in width and height so once that bit is also sorted out then we check if the window is actually created so this is how we actually do it put them we check if it's not this then we a call to create failed yeah so the next bit is we're just gonna put this as well so right after the the if statement here this is where we're going to put 
the show window here so we put in the h win this um wnd and then the ncmd show the, this is just a command and this is the update window so we also put this bit to update the window as well and then the last bit of course is we put this So we actually declare um, MSG variable here first. So the error will actually go away. So we're actually done with the the, the main win as well. So we, what we do is just gonna collapse it here and then we come inside the, the Windows procedure. So this is what actually we put inside. So we declare these variables here. So hello, Windows Desktop. This is the greeting. So, yeah. So the next is obviously we put this switch statement. So before we actually put the rich um, the switch statement, we return the return value is zero. So we put this switch statement here. So this is the switch statement that we've actually got. So we've got this L param. I'm just gonna check that. So maybe inside the okay, so it's small letter A. So the error should go away. Okay. So this is actually what we actually put inside the switch statement. So we begin the paint, we set this greetings, and then the usual stuff. So you can actually have a look at it and copy it. So I'm just gonna run it to see what actually happens. So as you can see here now, we've actually got the, the window showing now. It's, it's showing nothing, but see, hello, Windows desktop. This is actually here now. So we, if you change this bit, the grid inside, then you should get it reflected here. So once again, if you have any issues, please drop a line. Otherwise, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please make sure you do, because I've got lots of videos coming up. And I hope you have a lovely morning, afternoon, evening, wherever you are. Bless and peace. Bye-bye.